this country. An email question from Barbara Billings. She asked, why are you so unapologetic for the crimes of George Jackson and especially Jonathan Jackson? The latter killed a judge and injured jurors. Were his actions justified simply due to the racist system? Okay, well, first of all, um, Jonathan Jackson did not um, um, kill the judge in the way that was represented. Uh, and I can say this because uh, I spent many, many months in a courtroom in which we examined all of the evidence. Uh, and both uh, the prosecution, well, of course the defense uh, proposed this, uh, but the prosecution agreed that um, the first shots were fired by San Quentin guards. And that is a matter of fact, the killing of the judge uh, was, uh, uh, and I, I know I'm going through all of these details, but I think they may matter at this uh, moment, that the, the killing of the judge happened as a, as a reflex after Jonathan Jackson was already killed. Uh, and as a matter of fact, during my trial, we, uh, we cross-examined some of the San Quentin guards who testified. And I'll never forget, one of my attorneys said, well, is it true that San Quentin prison authorities have instructed you to prevent an escape attempt at any cost? And the answer was yes. Uh, is it true that if it requires the life of uh, uh, one person or a hundred persons, you must prevent that escape attempt. And he went on, and the, the, the guard answered yes each time. Uh, and so I do not apologize for uh, the fact that Jonathan Jackson killed a judge. I'm trying to understand those uh, circumstances. Uh, is there any point where violence is justified in the um in, in working towards gender and racial equality? Well, I always felt that that question itself was wrongly formulated. Um, um, is violence justified in revolutionary struggles mm -hmm. and struggles for equality and um, justice? Uh, uh, because it seems to me that you put the cart before the horse. Uh, uh, in South Africa, for example, if one looks at the history of the effort to end apartheid, uh, you will see that there are uh, moments in which uh, the, uh, there's an absolute refusal to engage in uh, violent uh, resistance. But then on the other hand, you have a government that is wedded to violence. Uh, and eventually, people in South Africa who were struggling for justice and equality came to the conclusion that um, they had to take up arms. Uh, and the African National Congress did take up arms. Uh, and of course, eventually apartheid was uh, overturned and that armed struggle now has the, uh, one would say, the statue of the American Revolution where people also took up arms because it was not possible to guarantee uh, American independence without doing that. 